Hi, I'm Dean Naidoo and welcome to Tipsy Time. Episode of Tipsy Time. Today we'll be making one of my wife's favorites. It's a crispy duck in a Thai red curry. It is her birthday today, so happy birthday, my angel, and I hope you enjoy this meal I'm making. So let's get started. Okay, so we have our duck breasts. Um, I've patted them down to make sure there's no moisture in them at all. These are nice free range duck breasts. So, what we're going to do is to start with, we're going to score the, the skin because we want it nice and crispy. When you score these, you don't want it to be too deep. You don't want it to go through the actual uh, breast meat. You just want it to cut through the fat of the skin. So, let's turn it around and do the same the other way. And we'll continue to do this for the next three. Okay, now we have our duck nicely scored and because we want that nice crispy skin we're going to need to try and get all the, the water oil we've got to dehydrate it basically so on the skin side we're going to put a bit of salt this will extract all the moisture off out of the skin and then we'll turn these around And on this side, uh, we're going to get some Chinese Five Spice seasoning. We don't put this on the skin side up because we don't want that burnt Five Spice flavor on the skin. We want that nice and crispy without the burnt color. Get some salt as well. And some black pepper. In. We're going to let this sit now so that we can get all the moisture out of the skin. So we'll give it about 10 minutes. And we can move on to our sauce. Okay, so I've got some nice dried red chilies which I've soaked in some warm water for about 20 minutes. This is just to get them nice and soft and easy to work with. So this is the base of our red curry paste. So we're gonna, we're gonna get these into a blender. Then I've got garlic. So I'm gonna add about five to six cloves of garlic. Knob of ginger, you, can, you normally use galangal for this, but I, I couldn't find it, so I'm using some ginger. I've got a lemongrass, which I've chopped up. One shallot. Or you can use half a red onion. I've got some uh, kefir lime leaves, some lime zest, then I've got a teaspoon of white pepper, coriander powder and cumin powder. Then I'm going to add in a few sprigs of fish sauce, uh, then we're going to add in some shrimp paste, about a teaspoon of shrimp paste, salt and lastly a half a teaspoon of sugar okay so everything is ready to blend what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add in a bit of the the water that i had the and the chili soaking in just to make it easier the blending process so i'm gonna blend this up and then i'll be back so our paste is nicely ground however i did forget one ingredient which is coriander stems so I'm going to add that now and just grind it up. Please don't forget that, like me. Okay, so our red curry paste is done. You can buy the packs from uh, the stores if you want, but I just love to make it fresh because it always tastes better. 
Okay, so we're going to get started with our duck. So what you need to do is get your uh, nonstick pan on a medium heat. And we're going to put the duck breast straight, skin side down, straight onto the pan. It doesn't have to be hot because you want this to render. You want that fat to render so it must actually work pretty slowly. And there's no oil. And we're going to let this slowly cook until it gets nice and crisp. As you can see, with no oil put into the pan, the duck has released quite a lot of oil. So this is what I was talking about, where you don't need to put any oil in there. Okay, so what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and remove some of this oil because we want that skin nice and crisp. We can use this oil when we're making our curry later as well. And we'll let it keep going. So as you can see, our first three are ready. Lovely and crisp. We're going to move this onto an oven tray. Okay, so our last piece is done, as you can see. You, if you have noticed, I haven't turned them around, so I've only like crisped up the skins. Okay, so we're going to get this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. I prefer my duck um, well done in a curry. I know it's beautiful when it's pan fried um, medium rare, uh, but yeah, we're going to do it well done today, so about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so let's get started with our red curry. I'm um, making actually like a veg red curry, which we'll get the duck into later. So I'm going to start by using some of the the fat that we've drained out from the, or that cooked out of the duck pieces that we had. This is not healthy, but it's delicious. And then we're going to fry off our red curry paste that we made earlier. So we don't want this to burn. We just need it to release all those flavors and fragrances. Okay, now that you can see our paste is nicely cooked, not burnt or browning, it's just nicely cooked in. We're going to add in our coconut cream now. I'm using one can. If you need some extra water, you can use, you can always put it in, or even chicken stock if you want, or if you have duck stock. Okay, so next we've got our curry up to a nice boil, so uh, you can throw in whatever vegetables you like. I'm going to be using some uh, Samiji mushrooms, some pak choy, some red pepper and some mini ponds. I've also put in some coriander as you saw. Let's get all this mixed up nicely. Uh, traditionally a red curry made with duck has pineapple in it as well. I am unfortunately allergic to pineapple. But you guys are welcome to go ahead and put the pineapple in as well. It'll go in at the exact same time. Two or three drops of fish sauce. And some more kaffir lime leaves. And we'll let this cook through now. Okay, so our duck is ready. It's been 20 minutes in the oven. Beautifully crispy. And inside will be lovely and moist and beautiful. So let's go and finish off our curry and then we can start plating. Okay, so our red curry is done. So now we're just gonna plate it up all together. So I've got me some jasmine rice, uh, which I've cooked earlier. Um, just put it on a plate so we can get some of our curry. Yeah. Okay, so our curry has been done and plated and now for the biggest critic because this is one of her favorites. And it's my birthday special, so very good. So my favorite Thai place that was close by to us closed down. And I was actually disappointed that I wasn't going to be able to taste the duck the way that it's made here, but actually I'm living with somebody who can make it so perfectly, so I'm very excited about it. This, um, the fat is absolutely delicious. It's flavorful. I mean, there was, was just salt and the Chinese five spice that was put onto it, but the I think from the baking, that flavor really got into the duck. And then um, coupled with this uh, gravy from this red curry sauce, which is really hot, you know, like that extra chili. 
um, and it's like creamy and it's got all those wonderful Thai flavors. Oh, it's absolutely, absolutely 